Hello everybody, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make a very simple and efficient stone generator for your survival world or realm. Using an efficiency 5 diamond pickaxe, this stone generator will get you 3 stacks of cobblestone or stone in a minute, which comes out to 11,520 blocks of cobblestone or stone in an hour, or simply 180 stacks of cobblestone or stone in in an hour. For this stone generator, what you want to do is grab your Efficiency 5 Diamond Pickaxe with Silk Touch for stone or without Silk Touch to get cobblestone. And what we're going to do is flip our lever right here and then all we have to do is start mining away. So as an Xbox player, this is very convenient for me because right now all I'm doing is holding down the right trigger. Now the downside about this farm is that you do need a diamond efficiency 5 pickaxe or else you won't be able to break all the blocks like I'm doing right here so this goes five blocks down now I've tried playing around with efficiency 4 and unfortunately I'm only able to break four blocks so if you do have efficiency 4 I guess what you could do is make this one block shorter so instead of five blocks you would make this four blocks long now it has been about let's say looking at the clock here it has been about 40 seconds since I've been mining up all the stones. So let's go ahead and do this for another, looks like 10 seconds. And then we will see how much stone we have collected down in the storage system. And that should be about it right there. Now, as far as turning this off, this will turn into stone. And then we can go ahead and flip this lever. We can break the rest of the stone out. And that will push any remaining stone forward. And then you can see right here it is shut off because we do have the pistons extended. Which is keeping the lava from connecting or making contact with the water. And therefore turning it into stone. So that is how this build works. And let's go ahead and take a look in our collection system. And there we go. We do have three stacks and a half. So that whole time I was talking we came up with about three and a half stacks of stone. So that is how this build works. To make this easy, simple, and efficient stone generator, you are going to need an 8x7 area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go. There are all the supplies we'll need for today's build. So what we have here are 5 pistons, 5 hoppers, 3 repeaters, 8 redstone dust, an observer, a lever, your building blocks, 2 stair blocks, 5 blocks of obsidian, because in Bedrock Edition, this is the only block that we can obtain in vanilla Minecraft that cannot be pushed by a piston. Now, I don't have Java Edition, so as far as Java Edition goes, if this build does work, and I don't see why not, you could opt for furnaces or any immovable block. But, like I said, in Bedrock Edition, we can push furnaces and things like that, so we do have to go with Obsidian. Now, we do have 12 glass blocks, 2 chests, 2 buckets of water to create a water source, a lava bucket, and then of course your Efficiency 5 Diamond Pickaxe with or without Silk Touch. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. Alright, to get things started, what we're going to do is place in the collection system. So to do that, let's come over to the right side right here, and on these two blocks, knock those out, and let's place in our double chest. Go ahead and grab your hoppers, and let's knock out these five blocks right here. Get your hoppers and crouch place one into the back of the chest and then continue to crouch place hoppers into the back of the hoppers in front of them until we have five. So one, two, three, four, five. Now what we want to do is knock out these two blocks. This is where we're going to AFK. Next, go ahead and knock out these five blocks right here. This is where the water is going to fall down into. And then get your pistons and place one, two, three, four, five pistons facing in this direction. Now go ahead and grab your obsidian. And place your obsidian right here. One, two, three, four, five. So this is what it should look like so far. From here, what we're going to do is grab our observer. And on this block right here facing the gap, go ahead and place your observer facing in this direction. A block behind it. And we will get to the redstone in just a moment. But what we want to do now is contain the water for when we place it in. So go ahead and place a block right there off to the side of the pistons. Line up the back of the pistons with blocks like this. A block off to the side. That way when we place in the water sources, it's not going to spill over 
off to the sides or behind it. It will only go down forward right there. So go ahead and grab your water buckets and waterlog the pistons like this. Now I'm thinking about it. I think we can only do this in Bedrock Edition. So that comment I made about Java Edition in the supply list, I don't think this build is going to work for you, unfortunately, unless you are able to do this. So as far as I know, I think this is a Bedrock exclusive feature, but that is done. I just had to say that. Now go ahead and grab your stir blocks and place two like this so we can still access the chest. And if you want to, place a block right there to complete this little section right there. Now what we're going to do is grab our glass and place glass above the pistons like this. So five, one here, one on top of the observer, and then place a temporary block right there and five more like this going across. And this is where we're going to place in the lava, but we are not going to do that just yet. We still need to do the redstone. So this is what we have going on so far. Now let's go ahead and wire up the redstone. For the redstone, what we're going to do is grab our lever and on this block, place your lever right there. Get your redstone dust, place two redstone dust right here. A repeater running into this block set to one tick. A repeater running out this way set to one tick. Run that into a block. Redstone dust and then a repeater running into the side of this repeater also set to one tick. So all three of your repeaters are set to one tick. Now what this does, first let me demonstrate what it does without it. If we remove this one here so all we have is the observer running into our piston at the moment when this turns into stone this is going to keep going and going and basically that's going to do nothing for us the build is broken so to fix that what we need to do is lock this repeater and that is why we have this little setup right here so in one tick this will fire the pistons and then a tick after that fires, this one will lock it, preventing that loop from happening. So if we do it now, we only get one pump instead of it going on and on. So that is what this does. Now all we need to do is line the rest of this up with redstone dust so we can fire off the rest of the pistons. So you can imagine once the lava touches the water, it's going to turn to stone and push it forward like that. Now, with that being said, we can go ahead and place in the lava, but what I like to do is flip this lever first. That will extend the pistons, cutting off the water. Place in your lava right there. It will pour to this side and that side. Now, for safety, if you want to, and it's probably a good idea, but we can place glass above the lava like this, just in case you, know, you don't have to worry about falling in. So that is all ready to go. And then if we give this a test, we flip the lever. There's the stone there. And then of course, this is gonna be stopped by the obsidian, so we are not gonna produce any more stone. Now, if we flip this lever, it does want to extend the pistons, but because we do have stone generated, it's not going to until we break that like this. So you can see that pushing forward. And that's how it works as far as turning this build off. And believe it or not, this is the whole build finished. From this point, the only thing left to do is to enjoy your build and start mining up your stone and cobblestone. So let's go ahead. We're going to do cobblestone this time. Now, there may once in a while be a slight issue, and I think it's if you start mining too slow. There is a chance that it will get backed up, and you may see lava pouring down on the left side. Let me see if I can produce that. So we're going to go ahead and do this. So let's say we do it and then I'm a little behind on breaking it. So it doesn't appear to be doing it. It did it one time and I would say the only way to fix it, well, the way to fix it because I just did it. All you would have to do is if you see lava pouring down the left side and you don't see the water there, just go ahead, extend your pistons like this and that should correct the problem. And I wanna go ahead and try it. I really wanna do it just to show you how to troubleshoot there we go you can see it and it looks like it did fix itself there we go there's a lava to the left so you can see that could be an issue but all we do like I said is break this out and there we go all fixed and there you have everyone a simple and efficient stone or cobblestone generator on bedrock edition 
this is the end of today's redstone tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this has been rogue fox and i will see you later